My name is Estella. I'm a sophomore at Crystal Ray, and this is my slam poem. I am Mexican. You might have these thoughts racing through your mind that I could be nearly every other race to the lighter pigment on my skin. I mean, sure, it's fair to say that due to the fairness of my skin, I don't appear Mexican, and that since I possess a U.S. Social Security number, I can't be the voice of my voiceless people, which is completely false. Most people solely associate Mexicans with the term immigrants. On my way to class, I hear classmates reciting common jokes such as, what sports are Mexicans best get? Cross country. <laughs> I bite my tongue because I know that once I succeed at the attempt of opening my mouth, I will persist in speaking my mind until I am satisfied. Hearing these kids act as if I don't qualify as a human as much as they do, make fun of such a serious and personal matter that executes Mexicans for the rest of their lives, and attempt to execute a joke and receive a couple of laughs in return without saying anything is as difficult as Obama trying to persuade a House of Republicans. This comes to show that the only points listed on the timeline of Mexico's journey to the U.S. are the end result of these aliens, or immigrants, and the fact that began one step across the border. In reality, you only view the ins and outs for lack of seeing how the ins stretched to the outs and how the outs came from the ins. Yes, as a scholar, you have been taught to read along the lines, but you fail to realize that realize, acknowledge the fact that reading between the borderlines is far more important. It's ironic how everyday battles such as depression and the loss of loved ones trigger reactions of compassion, while struggles of immigration that Mexicans face are merely discussed to degrade the Mexican race. At the age of 16, a young girl had been taken on the challenge of attending high school and college in Mexico simultaneously. She had perceived the struggle her parents had gone through for the sake of her siblings continuously. She was tired of witnessing her siblings wear the same worn-out pairs of shoes and same worn-out smiles on a daily basis. She decided to put her education aside and her life in jeopardy. But unlike those contestants who could lose the game show and leave with what they possessed, she could lose her existence solely leaving with a spirit if only a vacant body and a frequently commemorated name remaining. She walked through dirt, mud, countless deserts surrounded by 19 men to make sure her family's future would be bright. Regardless of the possible outcomes of stepping foot across the border, she was determined to reach her destination. I am a normal 16-year-old girl who can function properly, but it's another story with the person whose story I've just described. Mi madre. I've become immune to the streams of a mother shot in my ears as, as it is difficult for her to do something as, diff as simple as standing up. I have to constantly give my mother back massages due to the past years of a thousand pound machines trampling my mother's back as a factory worker. Every struggle lies behind the success of my mom's struggle happened to be crossing a border. Yes, everyone's blood type varies, but the physicians don't see the physicality of everyone's bleeding, the intensity of everyone's pain, nor the deepness of everyone's scarring. Therefore, although others try to make me feel ashamed of it, I admire the person I am. And I'll probably say it until the day that I'm no longer capable of speaking. So let me say this with a smile. I am Mexican.